everybody good morning I am wearing this outfit that we wore to the zoo not too long ago and look at my bag <laughs> look at me they are big never worn a pair of pants that get that are big on me now they're not falling off right they're not falling off but look how big they've gotten down here. <laughs> so, woohoo for me. Totally excited. So anyway, we're fixing to go out and about, pay some bills, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Alrighty, we had a good workout today. Yeah, somebody upset the, the instructor. Not a good idea when they're working you out. <laughs> because she worked us out, our arms. She made us do extra on the arms. And some of the elderly or older people got out of the pool kind of upset. But that's okay. Because it's like I told her, every instructor teaches us different. So, okay, you worked our arms out to, to, uh, this morning and, and you worked us out more than you usually do. Uh, I'm happy. I said, but then the next instructor this afternoon, she's going to totally work me, work my, my body totally different. Tomorrow morning, I'll get somebody else different. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll get somebody different. So all of my body is getting worked out. So I ain't got a problem with it. So because she was, she came and talked to me and asked me how, you know, how I felt about that. I told her I liked it. And then she made us do, what did I tell you, 50 or 60 squats? We had to get to the end of the pool where it was really, really low, and she made a squat with the weights. And then when she counted to 10, when she got to the 10th squat, she made us go all the way down as far as we can hold held our butts down without having to float up. So I'm sure I'll be feeling that <laughs> soon. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I'm starting to feel my collarbones. I wonder if you can see one with this thing here. I'm starting to feel them. I know they're going to be coming out because I can feel them soon. Yeah. And a wonderful non-scale victory on the pants. Woohoo! I hope y'all don't think that's the only black pair of pants I have because it's not. Angie Baby is one of the YouTubers here. Sent me uh, a lot of her pants that she couldn't wear anymore and those are the ones that I've been wearing so these pair of pants I usually wear with this shirt and I hadn't worn them so woohoo <laughs> okay you will see the numbers right down here I am going to show you a quick clip of my weigh-in this morning woohoo see you in a little bit We are at Friday's wow. having some lunch and listening to some music. <laughs> are you enjoying Hungry. your chip? Mm -hmm. I know, baby. I haven't fed you. I haven't given you any breakfast. Worked out in the den? No lunch? Wow. You <laughs> Where are we? I'm hungry. City Hill, Texas. Oh yeah. So as you can see, I have lost about nine pounds this month. So I am losing about one to two a week is what I'm averaging out to. And so I don't always have good months, as you know. Um, last month I was, gotta get a little bit closer, I don't want to talk too loud, 
Uh, last month I was 248, and then the next day I was 247. They gave me a total of 100 pounds. So now, together it is, oh, what is it? Uh, let me think, let me think. 104 pounds? I think. Who knows? <laughs> I ain't got a calculator with me right now. But about that. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so we calculated it. It was 108 total. <laughs> so, just wanted to let you know. Bye. <laughs> we had a good lunch, did we not? Yes, we did. And I brought almost all of it back. I had shrimp. And yeah, it was my fault. Um, I thought it was that shrimp, you know, that grilled shrimp. And it wasn't. It was the uh, breaded. And I didn't want to send it back. So anyway, I'll eat the rest of it later at home. I'll just have to you know, take a tissue and drain it real good and take all the bread off of it so I can eat it. That's what I did at the restaurant. I ate about three of them. Um, other than that, and you know what? I just, uh, they, they said, you want to sit uh, at a booth? And we said yes, and didn't even think about it. Didn't even hesitate. Just sat down in the booth with no problem. Back in the day, that would be the always that would be the first thing in my mind before we got to the restaurant. First thing. Oh, I hope they don't sit at that booth. Oh, I hope they don't sit at that booth. That would that I mean, I, you couldn't get me out of that, you know? Or if they didn't have enough tables, you know, I, that would freak me out. So, feels good to just go into a restaurant and sit anywhere you want to and be comfortable. So I was comfortable. Woohoo! For not kill victories, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Adios. Yep. I am showing you what it is right now. A hundred and seven degrees, and I mean, I am sweating. It is crazy out here right now. Totally. Let me put this back. What the heck? Oh, there it is. It's too hot to be out here, people. Too, too hot. I went inside Tom Thumb because I don't think I have any more of that spice. I wanted to show Texas Mom 2011. And Rosemary did a video yesterday on all her spices that she uses. Well, I kind of almost use almost at what Rosemary uses, but she uses more. And, uh, but this particular spice is, um, can't get, I, I don't know the name of it, but anyway, um, I hope I have a bottle at home to show you. And it's got a chef hat. It's a famous uh, guy that has a restaurant in uh, Louisiana. And it's for blackened fish. Love it. I like it on my vegetables and I like it on my fish, but Tom Thumb is the only one that I've ever been able to find it at. And we just stopped there and they don't have it. All they had was the chicken season that he sells. And he sells about four or five different kinds. And the boxes are white and they have uh, the colored tops on them. And the one I like is the one with the red top. So I'm going to go look in the cupboard when we get home, which is just around the corner now. And I'm going to check it for you. So see you in a minute. Okay, apparently I don't have any more. So if for some reason I find it, during the week or next week, I will still remember you, Texas Mom, and I will show you what I'm talking about because if you like fish and shrimp and veggies, then this is an awesome, awesome spice. But see, that's how much I use it. I had two bottles of it, but I completely ran out. So, um, yeah, I love blackened fish anyway, so so does my husband. So, sorry. All right, y'all have a blessed week, and God bless. See you later. Bye.